<laughs> oh, here's naked lady. She gonna get naked again? <laughs> down, down, down. Is she gonna have her throat slit by a bunch of dudes chasing her around her apartment? <laughs> that's that's a whole, her whole that point was in this horrifying. game. Rape lady. Hot pockets. Hey, you got a trophy. You're a good, good driver. driver. Damn right. <laughs> you went upside down in a ditch. You're a good driver. It rains a lot. I wonder if it's silly. possible to get through that without flipping your car. No, I think you have to, probably. What kind of crazy motorcycle is that? <laughs> it's like from, like, uh, The Matrix. <laughs> this is all really The Matrix. What is her whole point in this game? She has some reason to be alive. I'm worn out. I've got to sleep. Oh, this is that same hotel that Ethan was in. The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. Hmm. This creeper. Hey. <laughs> well, hi, Aldi. A little, uh, you want a room? Hello there, sweetheart. Cool. <laughs> for you. I'd like a room. I've got you? a room. Anything. In my pants. <laughs> what a <laughs> creep. Hey, hot dog. Feel the register. <sighs> yes, let's put your information out here. How about I'll I feel your I'll register? Give you, a, give you a room key. I have a room key. In my pants. Madison Page 27. Ooh, single. Single. She's the same age as me. Oh, I'm <laughs> staying with us, Miss Page. I don't know yet. Uh oh. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. She gave her. She gave him the fuck me all I'm this. watching. He got, sure. I got me some eye candies. Alright, where, what room is it? The receptionist. Room 201. Oh. Stairs on the right. Last room. That receptionist was checking me out. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my oh, room. I'm sure he does. Well, stop wiggling oh, your ass so much when you're walking. Yeah. Good grief. Stop flaunting it. Like you own it. Whoa. Well, she does technically own it, doesn't she? Yeah, I guess. Say, like, hey, can I borrow that cigarettes? Is this my apartment? No. Is this my apartment? One on the no. second floor. More than likely. I just want to push that bastard off for some reason. She is nothing but a <laughs> sexual object in this game. It's like she opens the door and there is the clown, from the balloon clown from the beginning of the game. 211. What was that room? 201, wasn't it? Uh, room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. I would shit myself if that clown was involved in this game again. Like for some so time. you didn't give me $2. <laughs> or the whole point is he wanted to give the guy his change. Uh, yeah. It's like I took your kid so I could return your change. Is that Ethan? Yeah. Is it? Sir? Oh, jeez. Are you alright? He's in rough shape. He's like, man, my head's all fucked up. Well, look at his head. I'll call an ambulance. No. No, no ambulance. This game is not about ambulances. You're yeah, there was this lady that my friend knew who Please, killed her. Well, I was trying to kill herself. She didn't want to either. I'm just going to put a few bandages on it, and oh. everything's going to be okay. Walk all Ethan down to his room. <laughs> Just take him down to the police office. I got him! I got the origami killer! No. Two, oh. <laughs> I'm beginning to think he is not the origami killer. Why is that? Because of the camera thing? The camera shot. What? Your kid would know if it was you taking camera photos of him? Yeah. He wouldn't call for you if he knew you were one. Well, I don't know. He might still call for you. 
Unless the guy, unless the guy holding the camera is like, call for your dad. <laughs> He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? Why? I'll help him first and ask questions later. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You're in rough shape. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. Really? <laughs> it's not fatal. <laughs> he would know that it's his sore ribs. as hell. They are his ribs. <laughs> now he does the McRib. <laughs> Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Yeah, bro. I don't Your think I remember his. Up. Was he bleeding when he got out of the car? Yeah, he was. Was he? I, I didn't really, I didn't really notice. It just kind of seemed like he suddenly was a lot more hurt than he was. I guess the adrenaline has worn off, and now he can feel all of his wounds. I should disinfect his cuts. And there's some rat poison. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Thing. So I need to give this to him? Here. 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 Take this. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. Pain It'll help reduce Why the pain. Why are painkillers in a hotel room? He needs to disinfect himself. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea <laughs> He's to exceed the dose. He has the OD. I can't afford to wait. Give him more pills. Find him like more drugs to take. Well, we gotta disinfect it, so you need like something to wipe it off. Uh, do I need to get a towel? Or something? I should disinfect this. There you cuts. go. Is that the peroxide? It's Neo. Ba na 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 na. Sporing. Hey, this bathroom has a toilet in it. No shit or closet in this house. Or in this hotel room. I'm gonna now disinfect she has a your wound. This, this might hurt a little. Well, at least you're on the painkiller. It won't hurt as much. Oh. Sorry. Are you okay? Man up. You just drove a car really well. Oh, there you go. I just feel like I, I had there. a Jane jail At moment least won't come get in. Infected. Thanks. Where she like feels sorry for the I dude's wounds. I would move around for a few days Jane if I were you. <laughs> right. I'm gonna take a shower. And then he goes and takes a nap, and he gets angry because you ran off. All right, let me help you. She's like, let me help you in the shower. <laughs> She's fiercely masturbating him in the shower. <laughs> His porno scene. We'll have to cut this out. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me, know if you need Let me know if you need anything. Is this where she gets to snoop around as, uh... I'll be watching. She's like, I'm gonna take a peek at his cock. <laughs> Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? You could totally look around the room first, I bet. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask and me why. And when she doesn't sleep in motels? Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. She gets her throat slit. She gets her throat slit in her dreams. <laughs> it happens all the time. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. That's a lie, isn't and you? it? <laughs> She's like, oh, it's origami! I found him! Can you check the bed? Like, find this old box of stuff? No. Oh, imagine if he put it on that table. She could have looked through it. Dude, that would have been insane. That would have been cool. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. That's where those painkillers kick in. Okay. I better get going then. 
It's like, hey, some of my stuff's been moved around. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. <laughs> Be careful, Ethan. Damn, Ethan. What a loser. Could have banged her easy. He's worthless like my brother. Also, I'm playing as this loser again. You suck, Ethan. Even though you try to take a traveling. piss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like, I gotta start pissing out them painkillers. If you use that thing between your legs, you could have nailed that chick. <laughs> he goes, it's like, well, let me take these pills and get really high. I think I got a chance. Look at yourself in the mirror. You're a loser. You could have totally banged that lady. You're walking around on broken ribs. I don't know if you could be walking on broken ribs like that. Yeah, you can walk on broken ribs. I call BS because he'd be way more pain than that. Go get your box of goodies. Lay it out here on the table. Yeah, what if she'd seen like all those? So what's the next trial? Well, we, what's the next on the table of of uh, messing yourself up with your alter ego? Which one should I do now? I think I think they're all numbered. Suffer power plant. What is he gonna like get electrocuted or something? Maybe it's that C for Metal Gear Solid one. Or to save Meryl, you get electrocuted by a <laughs> liquid snake. <laughs> it had a lot of shock value. <laughs> <laughs> the pills are just laying there. They haven't moved the. Why don't you just take them all with you and do them all at once? Yeah, just take them all at once. That's that's the solution. Oh, we got Jaden. Norbin Jaden. JJ the jet plane. Please let us use Ari. That was I like Ari. He got a little pimple there on his face. Don't like his uh, drug abuse thing. That's gonna. That, that's bad. But outside of that, he's pretty cool. It's like too cool for school. That's <laughs> when you gotta do his drugs. Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed. He me. did have a gun, and he could have killed you. He put it down. I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Because he is a FBI Come on, agent. You had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were. A oh. <laughs> Being through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. <laughs> Why don't you fuck off, Norman? <laughs> I like this Norman guy. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like awesome. He's like Neo. That's him. Get him, whoever he is. He's a tough guy. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Mm. Yeah, about your ugly ass beard and tattoo on face. <laughs> I got copied the face. Shit, don't just stand there. He's getting away. Ah. Hey man, watch it. Ah. Ooh. Oh, careful. Get him. <laughs> Smooth. Hey, watch it, man! Whoa! Oh, snap. Alright, all of them. Whoa! He's doing anything to the little guy. Oh, I messed up on that one. Sorry. I'm really no, sorry. you're not. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Aww. Why don't you grab a hold of him? It's like sushi later. Hey man, what 
Live chickens! The supermarket, obviously. In Heavy Rain Town? Alright, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, I don't like this at all. This ain't good. Alright. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Oh, this shithead's hiding in here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, this is a trash can. He's not anywhere. Is he? He's in here, son. Oh! Yep. Where'd he get a crowbar from? Oh! Yeah! Pull out your gun! Fucking shoot get him! Up. Come on, Norman! Make him in the beef. <laughs> this turns into like a straight up brutally <laughs> violent game. Where you, where you like you shove his face in like a hamburger grinder? <laughs> he comes hamburger head. This is like the begin. This is like the final like episode one of Star Trek, <laughs> where he fights that green. Uh, I don't think it was one. That was like it was a couple of Was it? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? It's called the arena. It's the famous one. Or he does like the double fisted thing where he keeps like punching like the lizard guy in the yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> he makes a this cannon. Time it looks like we got our origami killer. They did Mythbusters on that cannon too. <laughs> he made homemade cannon. Yeah! Oh, snap. Oh, Getting to the cool man's. Norman's little thing was kind of short, wasn't it? It was a little short. It may have been longer if we had shot that guy. He may have been remorseful. I shouldn't have killed him. The rain is picking Two point two four inches. Wake up, Scott. Good old room. You've been drinking. It's like, wake up, mystical he's, warrior. He's been a busy man. Wake up! You are the savior of humanity! Yeah, you're the man that's like gonna solve everything for this. It's pretty obvious. Everything he does is badass. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. Get your buterol inhaler. He's an ex-cop with a grudge. So he was a cop. That one lady thought he was a cop earlier. He's like, does he? I don't care you're good anymore. No need. <laughs> That's a like Conrad Brooks. You want a gun, Conrad? Nah. One monster, one gun. One oh. origami killer, one gun. <laughs> you take a puff. Puff, 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 pass. puff pass. And he just like puffs it all the time. <sighs> He's got, it's got weed in it. <laughs> He's like... The stickiest icky, my friend. Gulp. Glug, glug, glug. What private eyes do. This is some tasty liquor. That's what I want to do when I become a private eye. Drink lots of whiskey. Liquor? I don't even know her. <laughs> He's got like this oh, he sexy has a... PI typewriter. Free to the facts, Norman. You are Batman. This is your bad computer. Investigation. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Did you ever try to... Uh... I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Hmm. 
What was the name of that street? Carnaby Corner? Yeah. Uh, you see it on there? No. There's South Broad Street. Is this Harrisonburg? <laughs> Penn Street. Penn, South Penn street. Square. Market. Market Street. And there, there's a court. There's a street that runs up. It's like a court. This is Harrisonburg. You'd think it'd be easier to see if it was on there in Carnaby. Yeah. It'd be cool if it was. Um, hey, look, it's a picture of him with some chick. What, what did he do? What's certificate? What's that say? United States Armed for Certificate of Achievement, United States Armed Forces. Oh, so he's in the military, too. Yeah. Is Scott, this is you. This is his armed forces. He is. With that symbol, was that the, the it red was the gold? A, was the marine thing, wasn't it? No, was, yeah, look through your. Why well, can't you look through your file cabinets? Nothing but files. No, I'll just file them away later. Oh. I'll, I'll file these away too. Nothing here but drugs. Hardcore drugs. Is he gonna be gross? Everything he has is like old looking. Like those handles on that fridge. Yeah. And this is why he is so much better than Ethan. He has a bottle of, you know, liquor or whatever. I think it was hot sauce. He's drinking hot. That's how badass he is. He drinks hot. He's like, Scott Shelby you. drinks hot sauce. He's that badass. He's like he's like the Chuck Norris of this movie. Everything he does is badass. You said I could contact you if I remember uh -oh. anything. Uh-oh. Scott's gonna get his dick yeah, wet. Sure. Let's sure. see what's up. Another time I have to cut out a scene. <laughs> Let me take your coat. He'll take that coat. He'll take everything. You want a drink? Please take a seat. You want some booze? Let me booze you up so the break Do can you happen. Want to get fucked? Yeah. Get ready. He's just like, look here. Let me just put my dick straight in your face. Let me rub my groin against your face and see what happens. Let's sit, Scott. It's a magic trick. I just remembered something. Typewriter. Must be Maybe it's not grandma. important. But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's huh. father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. So these dads aren't running out on their kids. It's just that they're trying to do the thing and they're not making it. A challenge. Do yeah. you remember anything Physical else Physical challenge. That? There is a cell phone that came Well, with I don't it. know why, but I kept the envelope. Yeah? It was mailed in the Carnaby, Carnaby District. Corner. The day before Johnny disappeared. No sender. Oh, not particular. He's like, that was the day he decided to write Watch Me. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. He has a typewriter. He does. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. Yeah, it's an old Let me know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Hmm. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help, help you in your crusade, in your investigation. But how is she There's nothing you can do to help, Lord. It's, it's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all. Oh, you got told. There's no way you can help yeah, me, Lord. Just, just slow me down. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're, only Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Well, Shelby. Is he not going to read Wait. the letter? You're really, you're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'll give yeah, you that. Blackmail. 
I'm just a mother. A mother, a mother who wants to find out who killed yeah. her son. Are we partners? Scott Shelby is so badass, he partners he with women. <laughs> he's got he's got backup, and she's a hooker. <laughs> a private eye to a hooker solve mysteries. <laughs> it's like it's like some sort of sitcom. Uh, let's see what we got here. He's a private eye. She's she a sucks. Hooker. She likes to suck private eye. Whoa. Oh. She's dressed up like a 1920s, like, uh, private investigator now, too. Yeah, see? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, you better, maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. I'm just gonna save this game. Is there a party going on? Yeah, nice bud. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Well, was that one place a construction site that they found the body at? Um, that's your railway, wasn't it? Hmm. Uh, People drunk in there. Is there another naked woman? What a joint! Kramer must, Kramer be, must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? Lots of shinies. We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gets You all like fit right in! I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let me know if you need like, me. Yeah, what up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> An old style private eye in a modern future where people get whiskey, give them some whiskey. Whiskey straight up, no ice. No ice. Just the way a private eye should drink it. He's so hard boiled. Ah. Ah. I wonder if, like, we find every. Look, it's like we get him to drink everything we can find. He becomes alcoholic. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Oh my, Gordy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that one guy. He's spasming. He's like, is, is he talking to? Although he's talking to like a like a lamp. <laughs> hey man, this lamp sexy. The lamp from uh, what's it called? Uh, the leg lamp. You come here often? Great party, huh? Great party, huh? <laughs> what a bitch. He's not sexy enough. I think I didn't come here to make friends. Can he talk to the dancer? Oh, can he sit next to that dude? Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? Yeah, bitch, I'm trying to find out where he is. You okay? I really, I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? I want to get out Just of get here. Get up on the table. You fit right here. You have sex me. for money. I'm pretty I'm sure this in. would not be very uncomfortable Hang for you. Tight. If anything, if anything, the sex you have signs. with strangers. There would be dollar signs in your eyes right now. Oh, I can't go out the back. So, I think they say he was upstairs. Is that where he was? No. Oh. I see, he really hangs out with the guests. Excuse me, people are already talking yet. Hey, bitch. It's nice that they let you go out here, but what's the point if there's nothing to There's do? probably gonna be another scene where you have to go back out here. Maybe you fight Gordy or something. Because that's how Scott gets his answers. He's a hard boiled ejector. 
Fucking detective! Super solution, get. I like how, as he walked inside the door, that was still raining on his jacket. <laughs> he needs more alcohol in his system. That's how he solves crimes. I'm looking for Gordy! Have you seen him? What a fucking ass. They just want to party. They're like a bunch of, like, hippies. Oh, this one. Right, right there. Let's see if she'll talk. You seen Gordy? No. Oh, hey, there's some more alcohol. Can you get it? Drink all the booze. No, I can't drink that booze. Can I drink this booze? No. Nope. This is a sleep on the table. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh. It's locked. Yeah. How about the other door? Back there. I think it only gives me the option for one of the doors. There was like more doors. That was the doors I walked in over here. No, no, no. More doors. What? Those doors? Yeah. Those doors I walked in. No. No <laughs> way, fuckwad. Drunks. I don't know, there was a lady dancing on the table when you were. Your... That's her. What's here? Shitter. Ah, oh, he just finds him in the shitter. <laughs> Gordy never mingles with the guests because he's always in the bathroom. What you thinking? Oh. Hmm. There's no point to that. Nope. They give you a lot of pointless things to look at. Oh, what's that? Hi! Great party, huh? He's out of it. Hi! I haven't seen you before. Well, let's get better acquainted, pal! <laughs> Drink up, buddy. Oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. And I like you, too. <laughs> Scott took up stairs to have sex with him. <laughs> That's you didn't know I was gay. <laughs> I have to get information out of you somehow. Now I got me a new friend. That was pointless. Uh, well, you made a friend. I wonder if that's achievement, like, uh, to make friends at this party. Cakes? Hey, man. You think you could help me out? Do I look like, I look like a dealer? Get out of here! <laughs> yes, you do look like a dealer, I guess. There's many emo people in here, too. Maybe I have to go outside. Maybe there's a steps or something outside. I thought you were outside earlier. I was, but maybe there's... There's people dancing out there. Can you talk to them? Nah, I don't think there was any stairs out here. I don't know where else to go. Oh look, there's a kid floating in the pool. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Not gonna, be easy. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Hmm. Oh, there's a doorway right there where those two tall guys are. Hey. Hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind. Yeah, that's a lady. Has he been able to think those? Yes. Oh. I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Probably won't let you in because he said that. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Need it. Bye. 
up. Here's Mr. Franklin. Says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it! I ain't for sale. Uh, if I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Uh, mm. Look at the doors now. Okay, that lady. Popped up, some popped up, right? Excuse me! I'm looking for Gordy! I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. You need like an escort to get up there or something. What if you talk with, uh... That one girl into blowing the, uh, the guys at the door? Hey, here's your chance. You can help me out. Suck off the guys at the door. Yeah, we're gonna see. See if she'll do it. Did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. We've got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? Yes. It flashes to a scene hey, of her on her knees below and throws it to the guys. Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave What's the stairs. What's she gonna do? Smack them? Wait, Lord. <laughs> this is her like thing being a hooker so he's like you know I have I get paid for sex that one guy's gay <laughs> all right go Until I notice you Succeed, pretend you've OD'd. Yes. <laughs> I've learned something today. The more you know. We gotta get her out of here. Uh, double doors. Where are we going? Double down. What is he watching? I don't know. It's another one of your shows that you were watching. Oh, what is... <laughs> Two girls making out. He's got himself some lesbians. And he's giggling the cartoons. So this nope. has to be Gordon. Man, I would not go downstairs either if this show was the one on and I was ignoring two... You know. Mr. Kramer... <laughs> This is the best part. This is the best part. <laughs> My, name is My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Badass. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> oh, yes, we have him trapped. What happens? <laughs> I'd, like to know exactly I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Out of here. Skanky girls who make out with each other. Yeah. He didn't care they were there in the want. first place anyways. A witness, A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version. Yeah, see, that's why Scott's a good detective, unlike other ones. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. 
Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? You'll be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Hmm, you might be a pedophile. <laughs> he diddled the little boy. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? Is he being sarcastic? He's being sarcastic. This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! Oh, battle time! Battle shall be activated! Yes! Be. He had an ass. award. Did we forget this? Yeah. He's like a Mortal Kombat expert. Yeah. 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 Teach these punks a lesson. Kill them. You're fucking Scott Shelby. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Not me. What a creepy son. He just took those two dudes to town, though. Yeah. And he didn't even look like he's. So is that guy being sarcastic? I think he was. He's more interested in watching his fucking <laughs> cartoons and kill little kids. <laughs> Unless he's dealing them. No, he could be doing mm -hmm. that. He's like a druggie. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is weird. They threw you so many fish out there. For I know, the, and it's like... For the hunt for. <sighs> Damn it. But it's so good.